and waddle over here like a duck. So enjoy. What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. If you do not know me, my name is Bethany and this is my Road to Stage series. I'm competing in wellness July 16th and we're almost seven weeks out. Today we're going to hit legs and this is my hamstring focused day because I need to desperately grow my hamstrings like symmetry wise for wellness division definitely quad dominant if you did not know that already so it's going to be a lot of hamstring but yeah you'll just have to wait and see don't neglect don't neglect the hamstrings first we're going to take pre-workout um i woke up super late this morning because i am officially done with the quarter of school i literally slept in till 11 <laughs> and so i got to eat my breakfast and pre-workout meal in one, so I had like even more carbs, which is amazing when I can combine meals like that. So I ate like my oatmeal and cream of rice and apple, and then I'm gonna have my rice cake in my workout when I'm dying and when I need it. Also, this is the fit today, dark sport. These are Buff Bunny, and then the basic, uh, what's it called? Blazer. Addy, literally. And you know, we have one of nutrition, who I'm an ambassador for. So if you ever want to try their products, pre-workout specifically is what I use on every workout. This with a stem free. Um, definitely favorite flavor right now is the strawberry burst because it's less sweet. We're gonna take it in halves. Don't worry, I'm not taking two. Yum. I will see you at the gym. We at the gym and well, we started with hit. First, we're starting with the classic Seated hamstring curl. You know I'm obsessed with this thing because it's the best by far for growing your hamstrings because you're in that lengthened position. So your hamstring is stretched from the knee because your knee's out like this. And it's stretched from where it connects past the hip because your hips bent like this as well. And that's the best for hypertrophy. Yay. Okay. I literally bring this pad down so it can squeeze my legs a ton and then I come back up so it's like pressing on my thighs a lot so I'm like super 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 locked in because if it was like this where I had a little bit more like wiggle room like that then my back and my hips are gonna have to like engage to stabilize me more which will take away from my hamstrings and my erectors are just like my back muscle erectors the muscles along my spine are just too overactive anyway so anyways i squeeze this in a lot so it sometimes hurts if my quads are sore but we take one for the team we have to compensate for the hamstrings um and then i'm going to touch here literally think about my hamstring like lengthening shortening squeezing together lengthening um, so this is just a little warm up set, getting the blood in the hammies, and I'm like hunched over too. And then sometimes I'm like here. Oh yeah, I feel this even better. Like I feel it squeeze even higher on my leg if I'm like even more bent over like this. So mess around with it and make sure you're like maximizing the hamstring tension.
because we'll be focusing on hamstrings a ton, but also a lot on adductors, so your muscles and your inner thigh. Because that's also like one of my weaker points. Um, you really need that to like pop on stage two. Because you can actually see your adductors with your hamstring separation from that back pose. That's what the judges are looking for. Plus, you know, I want them as well. So this morning, weighed in at 143.3. And I've been at 147. You already know for like two months. Then I've been dropping a little bit this week, like 145, 144 yesterday, 143 this morning. So I got like nine hours of sleep last night and significantly less stress with like my quarter and school being done. So body is responding much better, much, much better. I'm excited. All right, first working set. Now we're going to hold for two seconds. Eccentric for one, two, three seconds. Oh, baby. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, so when I can't go anymore, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna push this. And then let go and then control it. I'll be back. <laughs> oh my gosh, slipped. It's like an upper body workout, too. Oh my god. <laughs> go straight into 20 reps on each we're gonna lower the weight a ton so my hamstrings are on fire but apparently not on fire enough so we'll start with the left next time we'll start with the right and we're gonna do a quick super quick 20 reps y'all should be counting at home Yeah, no. Okay, we're gonna. Feeling like my back's compensating, so we're gonna lower it. No ego lifts, people. Oh my god. Yeah, this is not fun. Okay. Shake it out if you need to. Say a little prayer. You keep dying. <laughs> Literally, okay. Feel a wall, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Okay, okay. It feels like a burnout set that you would normally do at the end of the workout, right? But again, because of my goals, I really need to hammer hamstrings because my quads take over every exercise. So I'm gonna start the workout with putting all my blood and the hamstrings, all the blood in my body, you know, um, and then really, really activate them. So on the other exercises, they're gonna be the dominant ones to take over. So you can do that with any muscle group you're trying to target, really. You should feel a pump. Like my hamstrings feel like bigger, like significantly pumped, you know? Yeah, okay. Cup holders. If you know, you know. You know what I'm talking about, cup holders? This is a cup holder. It's a thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a thing. These, no, they're not the glute emphasis ones. Emphasis ones? Emphasis is this ones. But these are the hamstring ones. And I lowered it literally all the way down as, it, as I can. I'm gonna hold this, but you can do it without a plate and work up to a plate, blah, blah. But holding this here, and I'm actually coming all the way up. 
my hamstrings are lengthening, controlling, and then shooting up as fast as I can, and then controlling it back down like so. And then I'm bracing my core the whole time, holding it out here versus like hugging it to my chest. This makes it a little harder and engages the core more. Literally, I only throw this in my hamstring, nowhere else. Pressing my thighs through the pad and then coming up again. Oh my gosh. And then if you shake, it's always a good sign. Okay. It's just, you know, when your head's upside down for the full set, it always takes a minute. But yeah, honestly, I love that one. I love it. Now we're going to do a super set that literally feels like cardio, okay? It's Bulgarian split squats with single leg RDLs. And yes, that feels like cardio because hashtag bodybuilding. Um, so I'm going to go grab a hundred and waddle over here like a duck. So enjoy watching this. Okay. okay, you know what? Just pretend like it's fine. This isn't heavy at all. I'm not waddling like a duck. Okay. Whew. You best believe I'm using wrist drops because it would slip out of my hands like rep two. Oh yeah. Okay. It's uh not easier than it looks. Okay. And my glute is actually feeling it quite a bit because you want to picture like rotating your knee out as you're pressing up to engage your glute med. So sometimes I like literally touch here. Oh my god, see? I'm literally like fourth of a set in to the supersets. I'm already out of breath. These are the moments we don't think about how we're on a deficit. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I have carbs in me. Oh my god. When you splash the ground with your sweat, when you throw the dumbbell on the ground, that's a mood. All right, we're gonna do 55. Oh my God. Okay. Cause if you elevate your heels, that's more quad dominant exercise. So like this would stretch my quads more. See, but then now if I elevate my toes, going to be able to stretch your hamstrings more. Hashtag science. That was your, one of your mini tips for the day. I hope you're writing this down at home. Like a second or two here. Come up quick. Slow down. One, two. Oh my god. I've been doing this for years and I still lose my balance. Yeah. 
<clears throat> but I try to stare at one place on the floor, with one little speck, and then that helps with balance. <clears throat> and then try not to kick anyone that's walking your way. <clears throat> Feel this in my lower back. So when I do, I stop what I'm doing, adjust, maybe even lower the weight, um, and then think about pushing your hips back as much as you can. Weight on your heels. You never stop thinking about the cues and what your body's doing. That was set one. We're only doing two, so don't throw a fit yet. Speaking to myself. So I'm about to do my leg press. Oh yeah, you've seen this one before. But first, we're having <laughs> Okay, so normally I would do my, just be in with my pre-workout meal, my cream of rice, but intra-workout carbs. For energy. You have to like learn not to care about what other people think. So, not gonna lie though, it's like it's a little weird, but it's fine. Normalize eating in gyms, you know? Oh my god, this is giving me life right now. Like, this is going to my hamstrings. I forgot to pray over it and bless it to nourish my hamstrings, but God knows my heart. <laughs> We're going to do slow eccentric and then pauses going back up only three-fourths the way it's freaking brutal freaking brutal Freaking hard. I'm just gonna lay here for a second. That's what's hard about it is like you're not trying to like load as much weight as possible. It's like you're trying to come bring it down slowly, pause, and then you're not even coming up all the way. So like there's no break. But as you could if you're paying attention, I did bring it back all the way when I really, really needed a break, when I felt like my legs were just gonna like fall. And then I can put my hands right here to like spot myself so I can push a little bit if I need to. But then still letting my legs do most of the work. And then I'm here safety wise so this doesn't hit my face. Have you seen those videos? They terrify me. Just kidding, it's not gonna hit my face. I'm gonna bring out the women power and just protect myself. Felt harder than I thought, so I need to really like focus more. I think I need to like put on one of my favorite songs. One of my favorite hype songs, because I need to get more in the mode. Dancing in the fire. I need to dance in the fire. This is my fire. Just you know, Bethany thoughts. I want my legs to cry. If your husband doesn't leg press with you, then get him to. Amen. Yeah, I know. He can't hear me. But he's probably thinking, wow, that sucks. How does Bethany do this? 
I have no idea. She's crazy. Why am I doing? Why am I doing this? I don't want to do that again. I don't want to do it like they was up to me again. I regret everything. How'd that feel? Wait. How the thing? I do them. Woo. Last exercise, hamstring will burn out. So you're actually gonna lay on the floor. So honestly, I've laid literally next to the dumbbell section before and just put my little bag right here. Not the most sanitary, but whatever. Um, then you're gonna grab a dumbbell because you wanna set it upright. Grab with your feet. And then you're gonna put your knees a little bit further apart. So again, adductors a little bit more, and then slowly, barely tap, and then come back up again. Barely tap, up again. If you have a partner, have them press down on your lower back so you're not wanting to compensate. <clears throat> and then just feel the burn from tension. Your calf stops cramp starts cramping, just stop and throw down a salt packet. <sighs> okay, so you're done. You're just gonna have 15 second. Yes, 15, one five. Second, pause, which is just enough time to catch your breath. Pull this up again. And then go right back into it. Oh my god. Okay. Another 15 seconds. Much better. I feel like my whole foot is on the surface of the thing. Okay, never mind. Oh my god. Holy. And we're done. And then now I'm going to do 20 minutes. So I checked in the past Saturday, right? And then my coach was like, we're going to keep food the same, still hit every day. And then we're going to add three sessions of 20 minutes steady state cardio. So incline treadmill walk. My heart rate's at like 130 ish the whole time, just for 20 minutes. So I'm just like on my phone. Time flies when you're having fun and sweating a lot and I feel great. I love steady state. Oh my gosh. At least I love it for now. So yeah, we'll do that after a physique update, of course. So see you in the ladies room, <laughs> locker room. One rice cake later. It's that valet service. We're done with cardio. Where are we going, Hunty? Gonna get a couple's massage. A couple's massage. Because why are we getting a couple's massage? It's our anniversary weekend. Anniversary weekend. We've 
we've literally been married for a year on Monday. A year. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. A like goes a long way. And supporting YouTube, other people can, are most likely to like see this video if you do give it a thumbs up. So, you know, it actually does go a long way with the algorithm and all that. So appreciate your support. Um, subscribe and turn on the notification bell because my next video is also gonna be a big update that you don't wanna miss. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Eat your protein, lift heavy, and be fit. See y'all next time.